Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Now I thought it was about time that an actual drummer got involved with our coverage of the new release of Superior Drummer 3.0 by ToonTrack. And the particular element I want to show you is the tracker. As a drummer, this is the bit of this particular software that I'm going to find the most useful. Really quick, an almost instantaneous replacement and enhancement to my existing acoustic drum tracks. Now, we've got here a track that I recorded. Uh, it's my normal kit and caboodle of drums and microphones, 12 channels in total. And what I'm going to show you how to do is replace the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat parts. Now, of course, you can enhance your existing kits if you want to, but what we're going to do is totally replace them. So we've picked a kick drum to get us going. It's the 22-inch Yamaha Beach. Now, I've chosen that one because I've actually got one. And we're going to go over into the tracker. Now we start here by importing our audio, and we do that directly from the audio files folder. I'm going to drop kick in eight into there. I'll solo superior. And you can hear some bleed from my kit. And then if I send the mix all the way over, that's just the superior kick drum sound. Now I think that's amazing. It's done a fantastic job of catching all the nuances, the different velocities, the different, let's face it, the different attack levels of my right foot on the kick drum. Play them back together. Real kick drum, enhanced kick drum. No latency, no flamming, no nothing. It's absolutely bang on the money. In fact, it's done a bit too good a job this time, so what I'm going to have to do is pull in the snare drum part this time. It's automatically recognised it's a snare drum. Not too enamoured with the actual snare drum we've chosen, so we'll go back into the um, drum selection window and we'll go for something a bit, bit bigger and nastier. There we go, that's more like it. Play that one back. Now, because I've got this soloed, you could hear there was an extra hit there, it was a, a false hit, if you like. So what we can do is select that, either detrigger it, which again gets rid of it, or if we select it and hit, just to make sure it's not an actual hit, we can then hit select similar, and we can tweak that just to make sure that actually is a snare drum hit. We can get rid of those and just hit D-trigger. So now, we're still getting those lovely little ghost notes. And the accuracy of the fill. And we can put all that together. There's just the superior snare drum replacement. So the last track we're going to import and replace or enhance is the hi-hat. Let's bring that one over. Drop that in there. Now the team at ToonTrack have done a lot of work to make sure that hi-hats and the articulations behind a hi-hat, which can be so varied, really do translate across. It takes a bit of tweaking and it's not an instant fix. For a start, Tracker thinks these are symbols. We can change that very easily but we now need to go in and probably have to sort out quite a lot of re-hits. So for example, oh, there definitely is a hi-hat hit in there, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a quick tweak, we'll solo that only. It's done a pretty good job actually. There's a couple of extra re-hits which we can go in and, and tweak, but actually it's really not that far off. So what we'll do is we'll put an audio file of both these versions up. They'll be a little bit more tweaked than that, so we get um, a completely fair comparison. And let us know which one you think is the real kit versus the enhanced kit. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey, and I will see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.